Listen, you should never change who you are in order to attract a partner. But if you're doing those four things, then maybe you should consider removing them from your behavior. Because it's not only that girls hate those things, but you degrade yourself doing them. And until you remove them, you would never be able to become the most masculine version of yourself, the fullest version of yourself. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. And the first thing is you should love your family. You should respect them. And you should also most of the time obey to what they say. But you, should, you shouldn't become mama's boy. And what I mean by that is once you get a girlfriend, you'll be used to not deciding anything like how you should, what clothes should you wear, how you should behave yourself, what to do when you go out. You won't be able to make the decisions for yourself. And that is crucial for a man, for a masculine man. And maybe at the beginning of your relationship, your girl would find it cool to decide what clothes you should wear or what your style should be. But trust me, it would become a burden for her pretty soon. And not long after that, she'd probably break up with you. And for a very good reason. So you shouldn't be judging her for deciding not to stay with a feminine man. The second thing is something you definitely guess. And it is not being healthy or, you know, fit. Like If you're fat, if you are overweight, then first of all, girls will definitely find you unattractive. But let's say you're on the skinny fat side. Like you have no muscles, but you somehow manage to attract a girl. If you keep behaving like this, at some point she'll probably want you to start going to the fitness, start training. And if you keep resisting, then at some point she'll probably leave you. Especially if you're not only not improving yourself, but your physical shape is getting worse and worse day by day. So make sure to train daily. It doesn't have to be weight training like every single day. It's definitely beneficial for you and really good if you manage to train at least from three to five times a day with weights. But even during the time when you're not training like this, you could always go and take a walk in the park or maybe run around your walk. Just make sure you're not, you're not getting fat. And also make sure your diet is on point. Like make sure it's not, it's not even hard. You should just avoid all the unhealthy stuff and then you could eat as much as you want from the healthy stuff basically you can eat until bursting and i'm saying this because i know that once you started eating only healthy stuff maybe from time to time you could eat something that's kind of unhealthy but if you eat only healthy stuff you won't be overeating because you'd feel full and it would be a burden for you to eat more and more so that's a pretty nice tip I have a video that I recently uploaded on the topic what muscle groups do girls find attractive in men. So make sure to check them to check this video out because this might help you in deciding how and what you should start training next up. Of course, taking care of yourself. Like you shouldn't be just as I already mentioned, be fat, not going to the gym. And not only this, you shouldn't be going out smelling or going out with no hairstyle like your your hair is completely messy and it's not like on purpose but you just didn't find it useful to style your hair even if it's for like 30 seconds basically all of the stuff that's about your body is included in taking care of yourself so guys make sure to take care of yourselves because if you're not taking care of yourself how can you take care of the girl that you're with also this is also including that maybe you're trying to start a new business or maybe you're working on something you're able to bring income to the house even if you're not living together but you're able to take her to a nice restaurant and maybe on the way when you when she sees something for example she wants cotton candy or whatever it is you're not like mm, maybe not today you could get it for her you're financially stable to to treat her well and now some of you would say, yes, but what if she's a gold digger? If she's a gold digger, you'll see and you you leave her. I mean, I'm not saying to buy her all the designer's clothing just so she can spend time with you. No, I mean, when you go out, we, you could treat her well even without her wanting to. And the last thing is basically losing control over yourself. And this includes watching porn. This includes 
drinking too much when you go out. Like, it's trust me, it's not cool. Gurus don't find it cool if you just get wasted every single night you go out. And a little bonus is you find time to, to spend with her. Like, you're not ignoring her constantly just because some people on the internet said so. Yes, maybe you should get busy doing something. You, you shouldn't just ignore her on purpose. You should focus on your work and once you, you're done, then you could answer her message or something. And because it's fucking crazy for her to DM you and you see the DM, but you say to yourself, okay, I'm not gonna answer her in the next 20 or 30 minutes because a YouTuber said so, so she could think I'm busy. No, why don't you just go ahead and get busy? And then you shouldn't be pretending to do it. And again, let me get back to the topic. You should find time to spend with her. Like personal time. Shouldn't be like she wants to talk with you and you're constantly playing video games. Or maybe you're just scrolling on the internet or watching some pranks on YouTube or whatever you're doing. Like you should make sure to treat her well and to be able to spend at least some time with her. So this is going to be for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. If the video helped you, if you learned something new, make sure to check the other videos in my channel. And I'll see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye.